We are learning more tonight about the juvenile who allegedly shot and killed 12-year-old Tristan Aguilar Rodriguez last Thursday in Lamont. 17 Cecilia Trevino with the latest on the case and how the family is dealing with the tragic loss. 12 years too young, Brianda Rodriguez wants the community to remember her son Tristan for the goals and dreams he had. Bye mom, I love you. See you later. And now I'm never hearing, I will never hear that again. I will never hear him telling me he loves me. Brianda Rodriguez is still processing the loss of her 12-year-old Tristan Rudy Alexander Aguilar Rodriguez. Responding deputies found Rodriguez suffering from a gunshot wound around noon on October 10th at a mobile home on Gregory Avenue. He died at the scene. He was special. He was very outgoing, very friendly. He loved to play football. My son had dreams to play football. He told me he wanted to go to the NFL and be a football player. The middle child of five, Tristan was the first son in the family. Rodriguez thinks his killing was intentional. It was definitely not an accident. I just feel that it was not an accident. That's all I could say because the investigation is still ongoing. Rodriguez says her son was not involved in a gang or involved in gun violence and deserved a better fate. I will never have a hug from him. He will never get to experience Marriage, going to college, going to high school, his birthday, everything's gone. Every, they took everything from me. The sheriff's office says a male juvenile was arrested in connection to the crime. Prosecutors identified him as Javier Leo Armendariz. Rodriguez wants justice to be served and the community to remember Tristan for everything he was. He was also very caring, very funny. He cared for his brothers and sisters. He will help me around the house. And overall, he was just a kid with dreams. And he was a good kid. Armendariz was initially arrested on suspicion of second degree murder. Now the district attorney's office has filed a petition alleging first degree murder. He's due in court in December. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help them through this difficult time. You can find that link on our website, kgt.com. In Lamont, Cecilia Trevino, 17 News.